Halloween was coming and Caillou didn't know what he was going to dress up as. The bedsheet gave Caillou an idea for a costume. <laughs> thought it would be fun to be a ghost. Boo! <gasps> Look, Rosie, it's just me. <laughs> See, it's a costume for Halloween. It's not supposed to be scary. It's supposed to be fun. On Halloween, you dress up and go out and people give you candy. Rosie, dress up! I don't think the ghost costume is quite right for you, Rosie. Why don't we find you a different costume? How about this? Yeah! You look like a princess. Rosie Princess! Daddy? Can you help me find the Halloween costume? Sure. Let's see what we've got in here. Why don't you try this on for size? Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> it's way too big. Don't worry. Oh, you look very grown up. I'm a daddy. I have just the thing to top off your outfit. <laughs> How you like dressing up like daddy? <laughs> and Rosie can be a clown with this. Caillou wasn't so sure he wanted to be a daddy for Halloween. It was awfully hard to walk. I think I need a different costume. We've still got a few days to think of something. Right now, it's time for bed. The days went by, and still Caillou couldn't decide on a costume. Finally, Halloween came. Caillou helped Mommy by drawing a face for the jack-o'-lantern and putting candy into little bags for his friends. <sighs> oh, what's wrong, sweetie? I still don't know what to be for Halloween. Daddy and Rosie are in the basement. Why don't you join them? Maybe you'll find something down there. There must be something in here you can use for a costume. Caillou was finding all sorts of funny things. Then he felt something soft and furry. Kitty! Good idea, Rosie. Rosie Princess! Rosie Clown! Rosie Cat! You can't be everything, Rosie. Rosie Princess, Clown, and Cat. Now Caillou was really starting to worry about finding a costume to wear. <sighs> Come on, there's still time. We'll think of something. You know what? I think we've got all the makings of a great monster costume right here. A monster! How you like the sound of that? to 
be a monster. Monsters can eat as much candy as they want. Even monsters can get a tummy ache from eating too much candy. You'd better save those candies for tonight. A monster! What a good idea! After lunch, I'll make you a costume from that furry blue fabric. Thanks, Mommy! <laughs> Here we go. One mini monster outfit made by Mommy. Wow! Caillou couldn't wait to show his friends his furry suit. Look, Rosie! A cowboy and a bumblebee. Trick or treat! Yeehaw! What are you, Rosie? Princess Kitty Clown! <laughs> Where's Caillou? I want to see his costume. Ready, Monster Caillou? Ready! <laughs> it's just me. Nice monster costume, Caillou. Thank you. Want some monster candy? Yes, please. Thank you. I'm going to get lots of candy. Yeehaw! Me too! Mm -mm. Me too, but I'm going to save some for tomorrow. I don't want to get a monster tummy ache. Rawr. You are? Let's see. It's me on the swings with Clementine. I can swing higher. It's beautiful, Caillou. Let's put this up on the fridge for everyone to look at. Put a magnet on your picture to make it stick. Okay. Thanks, Mommy. Here's a magnet. <laughs> Here's another one. Wow, it's magic. Did you know that magnets stick to lots of things? Really? Caillou wanted to see what else magnets could stick to. Hey, Rosie, these are magnets. Woo! They stick to things. See, they stick. Ooh! Look, it's Magnet Man! <laughs> hey! The Magnet likes my car. Vroom, vroom, vroom! Gilbert, do you want a magnet on you? Rosie Magnet! You can have the R because R is for Rosie. Oh. <laughs> Rosie Stick! <laughs> Gilbert, don't you want to play magnets with me? Hmm. What are you doing, Daddy? I'm building a birdhouse. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and what are you doing? Sticking magnets on things, but they don't always stick. <laughs> Yay! Do you know why it sticks to the step stool, but not the workbench? Why? Because my workbench is made of wood, and these steps are metal. Magnets only stick to metal. So the only way to know if it'll stick is to try it and find out. Caillou was learning all about magnets. But he was going to need a lot more magnets to play with.
he stuck magnets on the stove, on the toaster, and on the big spoon. Huh. I think we have a magnet fiend on the loose. <laughs> Caillou had lots of fun putting magnets everywhere. I wish I could do that. Wow! How come you can do that, Caillou? Because I'm Magnet Man! <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> been finding magnets stuck all over the house. That's what magnets do. They stick to things. Not by themselves, they don't. It's time to put them back on the fridge. Do you think we could find all the letters? So Caillou had to find all the magnets he had stuck around the house and unstick them. Here's A and B. He found most of them. I think we're still missing some. Rosie has R. R for Rosie. <laughs> I'm finding all the magnets now. Would you like to help me finish my birdhouse, Caillou? We need to put on this little metal loop to hang it up. Whoops! Uh-oh. Hmm. I see it! Me too, but I don't think I can reach it to pick it up. My magnet could pick it up, if it could reach. That's true. Maybe it would reach if we tied a string to it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could go fishing with magnets. I got it! Bravo! It looks like we have a magnet expert in the family. Caillou was glad he learned all about magnets. And he was very proud that he could help his daddy. Good night, Caillou. Good night. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's another one. Rosie wants to say good night. Nighty night, Caillou. Good night, Rosie. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm Magnet Man! <laughs> <laughs> Unhand me, Magnet Man! <laughs> oh, Caillou. Caillou the Dinosaur Hunter. Forgotten about their trip to the museum today. Caillou suddenly realized that he couldn't go to a dinosaur museum without his favorite dinosaur, Rexy. Caillou, hurry up! We're all ready to go! Coming, Mommy! Do you think we'll see Rexy's family there? 
Yes, I think we will. Yay! Yay! How come there aren't any more dinosaurs? No one really knows for sure, Caillou. <laughs> Dinosaur gone! <laughs> hey, give him back! <laughs> Finally, they arrived at the museum. Caillou couldn't wait to see the dinosaurs. Come on, Mommy. Let's go in. Caillou. Oops, sorry. Caillou, we have to wait for our turn, just like everyone else. Okay. Aren't you forgetting somebody? Rexy! Are you sure you don't want to leave Rexy in the car? That way you won't lose him. No. I'll take good care of him. <gasps> oh, dinosaur's big! Don't worry, honey. They can't hurt you. What happened to their skin? How come they're only bones? The bones are all that's left of the dinosaurs, Caillou. When the scientists first found these bones, they had to put them back together, just like a puzzle. And only then did they know what dinosaurs looked like. Really? Mm-hmm. Look! Those are the bones of a Tyrannosaurus rex. A T-Rex. That's the same kind of dinosaur as Rexy. He's huge! Ooh! Dinosaur! Like Rexy! That's right, Rosie. He is. I never knew there were so many different kinds of dinosaurs. Wow! Look at that! A flying dinosaur! Yep. It's a pterodactyl. Can you imagine what a real pterodactyl would be like? couldn't see Mommy, Daddy, or Rosie anywhere. He decided to stay right where he was. Because that's what Mommy said he should do if he ever got lost. Hi there. Is everything okay? Caillou wasn't supposed to talk to strangers. But he knew it was okay to talk to the people who worked at the museum. I can't find my Mommy and Daddy. Oh. So I'm going to sit right here until they come back. That's a very good idea. I'll just wait here with you, okay? Caillou! Mommy, here I am! I'm glad you stayed where you were. It made it easy for me to find you. I hope you weren't scared. Nope, I was talking to the nice guard. Mommy, find Caillou! Just like the scientists found the dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like a dinosaur. Rawr. Ooh! Elephant! That's a woolly mammoth. He needs a haircut. Is he really an elephant? He's the great-great-great-grandfather of all the elephants. Wow! So, did you have fun? Yeah! And now you know what Rexy's family looked like. <gasps> Rexy! Mommy! I don't have Rexy! I left him somewhere! Okay, don't worry. We'll find him. The first place we'll look is the lost and found. That's where people take the things that they find. So if somebody found Rexy, they might bring him here. At the lost and found, Caillou explained to the lady he was looking for Rexy. But she didn't have him. <sighs> Daddy and Caillou looked everywhere for Rexy.
We can always check back again at the Lost and Found. Daddy, look! The guard dug Rexy up with the dinosaur bones! Well, hello again. Did you lose someone this time? Yes, thank you. I'm so glad we found you. Look, Mommy, we found him. That's great. Was he hard to find? Nope, because he stayed right where he was, just like he should. Then Rexy is a very smart dinosaur. He sure is. Let's go to the museum. What do you want to do today, Caillou? I want to visit another museum. Okay, let's go. We're going to a museum. I really want to go. We're going to a museum. There's lots I want to know. Paintings and works of art. There's lots to see. Where should we start? Fossils and shiny rocks. Famous books. And a weird clock. How do they tell time, Daddy? That looks old. That looks new. That looks like an igloo. See that knight? What a sight! His armor doesn't look too light. Daddy, how did he go to the bathroom? I don't know, Caillou. That mummy is a little scary. Cavemen sure were hairy. Things that fly, things that soar. A moon rock and a meteor from outer space. There's lots to learn and see. Museums are fun, don't you agree? I sure do, Daddy. So visit a museum. You really won't believe. All the things you'll see there, you'll never want to leave. You'll, you'll never, never want, want to leave. leave. Yeah. yeah! Caillou the astronaut. Caillou liked to play and pretend he was someone else. Like a big furry bear. Papa Bear, is that you? <laughs> it's me, Mama Bear. <laughs> Hello, Mama Bear. Let's go find some berries to eat. Roar! Roar! Here are some yummy berries. Some berries aren't good to eat, but these ones are. I can eat a hundred berries. I can eat a million berries. <laughs> Hi, you. Look what I've got. The lights really work. And see, there are two astronauts inside. Why aren't there any girl astronauts in there? Maybe the girls are in a different spaceship. Let's pretend we're astronauts, Caillou. We're playing bears, right, Caillou? Caillou really wanted to play astronauts, but he was playing with Clementine first. Do you want to play bears with us? You can be Baby Bear. No, I want to play spaceships. I'll play with Clementine now, and I'll play spaceships with you later, okay? Okay. I'm going into the cave now. Mama Bear, are you in there? Roar! <laughs> <laughs> After playing bears, Caillou was ready for snack time. He was hungry. Caillou, come sit beside me. No, sit next to me. Caillou didn't know who to sit beside. I know. Caillou can sit beside both of us. Soon it was story time, and once again Caillou sat with his friends, Clementine and Xavier. Now what book should I read today? Do you have any books about outer space? Hmm. Yes, here's one. This big yellow ball is the sun, and these are planets. This planet here is the Earth. That's us. That's right, Xavier. The Earth is the planet we live on. And astronauts in spaceships travel to the moon and to all the other planets. Caillou wished he could travel in a spaceship to see all the planets. Here, 
Bombs, Astronaut Caillou! Time to go outside and play. Hey! <laughs> now we can play bears again. I can't, Clementine. I said I'd play spaceships with Xavier. You can play too. We need another astronaut. But I want to play bears. I don't want to play bears. Well, I don't want to play spaceships. What's the problem here? Clementine and Xavier want to play different things. Why don't you try to think of a game everyone would like to play? Caillou tried to think of a game that had spaceships and bears in it. Miss Martin, are there any bears on other planets? I don't know, Caillou. That's a very good question. Maybe there are bears on a planet far, far away somewhere. We can be astronauts as we fly in our spaceship to the very far away bear planet. Bear planet? Yeah, you can be a bear on the bear planet, and we'll come to visit you. Okay. The bear planet is over here, okay? Okay. Come on, Caillou. Let's get in our spaceship. Let's explore this new planet, Astronaut Caillou. Right. Hmm. I don't think anyone lives here. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> what was that? I'm Mama Bear. Would you like some berries? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Caillou was glad he could play with his friends Clementine and Xavier at the same time. Rosie were having lots of fun playing with Caillou's library card. No, Rosie, that's my fishy. <laughs> I mean, library card. Maybe you'll get your own library card one day. Oh. Library? That's right, Rosie. We're going to the library today for story time. Story time! Yay! Will we get to take some books home, Mommy? Of course. You and Rosie can each borrow a few books. Maybe they'll have a book about fish. Caillou could hardly wait to get to the library. Right, Rosie. 
Oh. We have a few minutes before story time. Why don't you take Rosie to the board books, Caillou? Okay, come on, Rosie. Caillou had been to the library lots of times, and he knew exactly where to go. These books are for little kids like you, Rosie. Open! Peace! <laughs> cow says moo! That's right, Rosie. The cow says moo. And the piggy goes... <laughs> I'm glad you two are enjoying your book, but could you please try to be a little bit quieter? Others might be trying to read or work. Okay, Mommy. I'm going to find my own book. Caillou didn't want a book about cats. He wanted a book about fish. Mommy? Yes, Caillou? I can't find a book about fish. Did I hear someone oh. say fish? It just so happens that we're reading a book about the ocean in story time today. Are you here for story time? Yes! Well, we're just about to begin. Come on. Hi, everyone. My name is Vanessa. Has anyone ever been to the ocean before? There are lots of creatures that live in the ocean. This story is about a dolphin named Daphne. Dolphins aren't fish, they're mammals. But when you see dolphins, there are sure to be fish nearby. As Caillou listened to the story, he imagined what it would be like to swim with a real dolphin. <laughs> Look for fish over there. There must be some fish around here somewhere. <laughs> You're not a fish. Hello, Mr. Turtle. Terrific listeners. Did you enjoy the story? Yeah. Uh huh. Super! We've got lots of other good books here in the library. I hope everyone will leave here with a story or two. Can we pick out some books now, Mommy? Of course. Would you like to borrow this one? It has lots of fish in it. Yes, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Fishy book. No, Rosie, that's my book. <laughs> oh, no. Caillou didn't know what to do. He thought the librarian might get angry if she saw the torn book. At first, Caillou decided to hide the book. But that didn't feel like the right thing to do. better show mommy. Rosie and I ripped it, but it was an accident. We're sorry, mommy. I'm sure Vanessa will understand. Do we have to tell her? What if she won't let me take out any more books? She seems very nice. She may even be able to fix it. Caillou knew this was the right thing to do. Okay, mommy, we'll show her. Hi there. Can I help you? Um, my sister and I were fighting over this book, and it's sort of ripped. We're sorry. I see. Well, perhaps the two of you would like to help me fix it. Sure. Yeah. Caillou liked the idea of helping the librarian. Bit like stickers, isn't it? 
Now you two need to promise me that you'll be more careful with our books. We will. As good as new. And all ready for you to sign out. Are there any other books you'd like to borrow? Your very own library card. It's just like mine. <laughs> Caillou the Bookworm. Caillou, Mommy, and Rosie were just returning from a trip to the library. Caillou had a whole bunch of books he just couldn't wait to look at. Especially the one about pirates. Hey, everybody. Did you have fun at the library? Hi, Daddy. I got lots of books. This one's about pirates looking for treasure. Arr, matey. Arr, matey. <laughs> have you got some books too, Rosie? Horsey book! Daddy, play horsey! Sorry, sweetie. I'm doing yard work this afternoon. No, honey. I've got a lot to do today. Grandma's coming over to play with you. Grandma, play horsey! And what are you going to do today, Caillou? Look at my books. Hi, Gilbert. Caillou got nice and comfortable. Now he was ready to look at his book. Look, Gilbert, the pirate has a pet parrot. That's a bird that can talk. I wish you could talk. <laughs> I forgot, you can talk. On the first page, the pirate was sailing his ship to a little island. Gilbert, I can't see. <laughs> Gilbert! That's better. Gilbert, you silly cat. Caillou had to find somewhere else to look at his book. Somewhere where Gilbert wouldn't interrupt him. The playroom looked like a good place to look at his book. Caillou, would you like to play horsey with us? No, I'm looking at my library book now. All right. We'll try to be quiet. Come, Rosie. Let's draw some horsies. Horsey, 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 horsey! Horsey! Horsey, horsey, horsey! Caillou was finding it hard to concentrate on his book, with Rosie talking. Horsey. Now, Rosie, dear, come back over here with me. Caillou needs some quiet so he can concentrate on his book. Horsey, 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 horsey! That's okay. I can go somewhere else. I'm sure you can find a quiet spot somewhere. Maybe try the living room. Okay, thanks, Grandma. Horsey, 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 horsey! Horsey, 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 horsey! Caillou thought Grandma was right. He needed to find a quiet place to enjoy <laughs> his book. And the living room looked perfect. Arr, matey. <laughs> now it was too noisy for Caillou to concentrate on his book. Sorry, honey, I didn't see you there. Are you trying to look at your pirate book? Yeah. I'm afraid I have to do the vacuuming in here. Okay, Mommy. I'll find another quiet place. Thank you, Caillou. Caillou 
couldn't see Gilbert anywhere. Maybe now he could look at his book. <laughs> oh, Gilbert, not again. Now, where could Caillou look at his book? In peace and quiet. Caillou thought the closet would be a very good place to look at his book. It was quiet, and there was nobody to bother him. Caillou imagined that he was the pirate in the story. That must be where the treasure is, matey. I'd better check the map. Let's see. Shh, Polly. I need some quiet so I can look at my map. Arr. The treasure is buried under that tree. Arr. is getting hungry. Oh boy, this is it! Real pirate treasure! I wonder what's inside. Arr. Cookies! Here you go, Polly. One for you, and one for me. <laughs> now that's a good treasure. Caillou! Caillou! I don't know where he could be. He's not downstairs. Or outside. Here I am. Caillou! There you are. Caillou hiding! Were you playing hide-and-seek? <laughs> no, I wanted to look at my book in a quiet place. And my closet was the quietest place in the whole house. Can you play now? Yup, I'm all finished my book. Arr, matey, I'm a pirate. Can you pirate? <laughs> Arr, matey. <laughs> <laughs> Storyteller. Caillou was having fun playing with his friends Jason and Jeffrey. But they were starting to get a little too loud. Boys, let's use our indoor voices, please. But we're having a roaring contest. If we go outside, can we use outside voices? <laughs> Good thinking, Caillou. It is almost time to play outside. <gasps> it's raining. Oh, dear. I guess we won't be going outside to play right now. Caillou was disappointed. He really wanted to go outside. I don't like rain. Where does all that water come from anyway? That's a good question. Does anyone know where the rain comes from? From the clouds. Right. But do you know how it gets there? 
Come on, I'll show you. Water starts out in lakes and rivers. Over time, it evaporates. That means it goes into the air and up to the clouds. When clouds are full of water, they're like sponges that can't hold anymore. So they let go of the water, and it rains. Oh! And the rain makes the grass grow. Right. Caillou knew that rain was good sometimes. But right now, he really wanted to go outside and play. I wish I could make the rain stop. Don't worry. Super Caillou will make it stop raining. <laughs> it feels like the sponge Daddy uses to wash the car. I know! I'll squeeze out all the rain! So we can go outside and play. But for now, why don't you pick out a book to look at? Books are a great way to have fun on a rainy day. <laughs> okay. Look, I've got Jack in the Beanstalk, and it has a giant in it. I found a book about dinosaurs. What are you going to read, Caillou? I want a book about a superhero. Superhero. A superhero who makes it stop raining. I don't think we have a book like that, Caillou. But would you like to write one? I could help you. Okay. Now, why don't you tell me your superhero story and I'll write it down. Um, once upon a time, everybody wanted to go outside. But it was raining, so the superhero... What was his name? Super Caillou! <laughs> That's a good name. What did Super Caillou do? He flew up to the clouds. That's where the rain comes from. Shh! And the clouds were big sponges full of water. So he flew up on the top of the clouds. Was anybody else up there? Yeah, a giant! And a dinosaur. Oh, my. A giant and a dinosaur in the clouds. Then what happened? Um... So Super Caillou wanted to stop the rain and... Yeah, the clouds were wet because the giant was washing his car and he left the hose running. <laughs> <laughs> so he got the giant and the dinosaur to help him squish out all the water. They jumped up and down in the clouds and squished the water out. Squish! 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 <laughs> what happened after they squished out all the water? It stopped raining and they all went for a ride in the giant's car. In the giant's car. There! What a good story! And now you have it all written down. There aren't any pictures. Not yet. The pictures in books are called illustrations. Would you like to make some illustrations for your book? Yeah! Caillou painted lots of pictures to go in his book. He was especially proud of his last picture. After the paint was dry, 
Miss Martin helped Caillou tie all the pages together with yarn. And there we are. Congratulations, Caillou. You're an author. That means you wrote your own book. Who wrote his own book? I did, and I made the pictures. The illustrations. See? You made this? This looks like a very exciting story. Hmm. Would you like to take it home or leave it here for everybody to read? Mm, I want to leave it here. Jason and Jeffrey might want to look at it. All right. Bye, Caillou! I'm so proud to have a real author in the family. Me too. It was a cold winter morning, and it had been snowing all night. Caillou was getting dressed to go to play school. He even remembered to put on his hat. I can't see! <laughs> he didn't want to be late, because today they'd be doing arts and crafts. I'm ready, Mommy. <sighs> you might have to wait for me, Caillou. <sighs> I've looked everywhere, but I can't find the car keys. Here they are. <laughs> they were in that boot. Thanks, sweetie. I guess I'll have to find a better place to keep these keys, or I'll make us both late. <sighs> Where's the car? It disappeared. Oh, it disappeared under all that snow. We'd better get to work. Caillou liked to help Mommy shovel snow. It was fun. When all the snow was off the car, Caillou and Mommy tried to warm up, but it was very chilly. Uh-oh. The car doesn't like the cold weather. It's having a bad day, too. Don't worry, Caillou. When things go wrong, it's best to look on the bright side. At least you found the car keys for me. How about we ask Grandpa to drive you to play school? Okay. Spin. <laughs> Hat. Mittens. Coat. Boot number one. Whoa! <laughs> Boot number two. Whew. That was a lot of work. I'll be back later to pick you up. Mommy will be busy getting the car fixed. Sounds like she's having a bad day. Hi, Caillou. I'm glad you made it. We're making crafts out of clay this morning. I'm gonna make a present for Mommy. That's a great idea, Caillou. See you later. Caillou tried to think of something that would make Mommy happy. Like a fan to blow away the snow. Ah! <laughs> or the warmest coat in the world. Or even better, a big warm sun to melt all the snow so it could be summertime. Ah, thank you, Caillou. Make a sun to melt all the snow. My sun is shining on your snowman. Oh no! I'm melting! 
It's getting hotter and hotter. Uh-oh! Caillou was upset. Now he had to start all over again. This time, Caillou was very careful with his son. Let's bake it in the oven so it can dry out. Then you can paint it. It broke! It's okay. We'll wait for it to cool, and then we can glue the pieces back together. After the sun had cooled, Miss Martin glued it to a piece of wood. There you go. Better than ever. And now you can hang it on the wall. Thank you. Now I'm going to paint it yellow. <laughs> See? He's smiling. After snack time, Caillou decided to check on his present for Mommy. Can I see Caillou? Uh-oh! Caillou was annoyed at Clementine. His present was ruined again. Sorry, Caillou. It looks like your son's wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Caillou decided he liked his son even better this way. Good work, Caillou. Sometimes when things go wrong, they still work out for the best. Looks like the car's fixed. Maybe it wasn't such a bad day after all. Caillou couldn't wait to give Mommy the sun he made. Hello, Caillou. I made you a present, Mommy. A sun? Oh, thank you. It's just what I needed to see on a cold afternoon. I was having a bad day, but this makes it a whole lot better. Mm -mm. And I know just where this can go. A little higher. What do you think, Caillou? Perfect. And now let's see if it works. Keys, please. Hmm. Not again. They must be around here somewhere. Here, Mommy. <laughs> what would I do without you? Now you'll always remember where your keys are. And we'll always remember to look on the bright side when we're having a bad day. Thanks to Caillou. Caillou the chef. Caillou was very excited because his friends the twins, Jason and Jeffrey, were coming over to play. And they were staying for lunch. What are we having for lunch, Mommy? I thought you can make your own pizzas. Yay! You can help me by washing those mushrooms. Before? Me neither. I have lots of times. I'll show you how. Come on. Okay, boys. Now that you've washed your hands, we're ready to start. Here's your pizza dough. The first thing you have to do is roll your dough flat. Like this. Ah, making pizzas, are we? Did you know that I once worked in a pizzeria? Really? 
Wow. wow! You need a lot of practice before you can do this. You see, it's all in the wrist action. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Maybe you boys should just stick to the rolling pin. I better go wash up. What do we do now, Caillou? Next, you put on the tomato sauce and spread it all around. I don't like sauce much. Lots of sauce. Then you sprinkle on the cheese. I like tons of cheese. I just want a little. That's not the right way to make pizza. But now comes the most fun part. You make a smiley face with the mushrooms. Nah, I don't like mushrooms. I do. I'm gonna make the spider on my pizza. I need something to make my spider's legs with. Well, let's see what I can find. How about carrots? Yeah! Can I have some broccoli, please? Broccoli? Carrot sticks? They don't go on pizzas. Caillou was upset that the twins were making their pizzas all wrong. Everyone can make their pizza how they like, Caillou. Can I put my spider on too? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Let's just stick to food, okay? Caillou imagined he was a real chef in a pizzeria. Let's make some pizzas. Okay, Chef Caillou. I'll be ready in 30 minutes so you boys can go and play. I know what we can play. Welcome to Caillou's Restaurant. Here's our menu. Hmm, I don't know what to have. We don't have any spiders, snakes, or snails, but we do have pizza. And you can have any topping you want. <laughs> I'll take a dump truck and a yo-yo. <laughs> and I'll have a sock puppet and some puzzle pieces. That was good, but I'm still hungry, Caillou. Boys, pizza's ready. Yay, yeah. boy! Of my spider for as such as your smiley face. Well, okay. Mmm, the carrots make it nice and crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> The three boys had a good time trying each other's pizzas. And Caillou learned that there really is more than one way to make a pizza. We're cooking! 
Dragon. Caillou, would you like to help me cook something today? Okay, Mommy. We're cooking. We're cooking today. We're cooking. I'll show you the way. We're cooking. We're cooking today. We're gonna bake a chocolate cake. First, we take a little flour, <laughs> put it in a mixing bowl. Add eggs, butter, sugar, milk. Stir it up well, that's the goal. Into the oven, the cake will go. Be careful, cuz an oven's hot. We have to wait till the cake is done. Let's take a look at what we've got. Now let's put the icing on. Yeah. I think it's ready soon. Don't forget that we have to clean up. Caillou, would you like to lick the spoon? Yes! We're cooking. We baked the cake. We're cooking. They're fun to make. We're cooking. Don't get a belly ache. Night or day. Step right this way. For real gourmet. It's Caillou's Cafe. We're, We're cooking. We're, We're cooking, cooking today. today. Yeah. yeah! Caillou the painter. Here's another one. Caillou was helping Mommy sort the laundry. His job was matching all the socks. Pink and pink. You're very good at matching socks. Last one. Here you go. Hmm. I need another blue sock. Hmm. Hmm, it's not in here. Maybe it's still in the washing machine. Uh-huh, here it is. Oh, dear. This stain didn't wash out of Daddy's shirt. I guess I'll have to make cleaning rags out of it. Mommy, can I have it? If you like. <laughs> but I'd better shorten those sleeves or you'll trip over them. I can't find my hands. Thank you! <laughs> Look, Daddy, I'm wearing your shirt. Mommy cut off the sleeves. That looks like a good paint shirt. A paint shirt? Grandma coming! That's right. Grandma just called and she's coming for lunch. Can I paint a picture for Grandma in my paint shirt? Sure you can, Caillou. We can set up your painting things in the backyard. Grandma coming! <laughs> Why don't we go out and pick a nice flower for Grandma? Yeah, pretty flower for Grandma. Hold on there, sweetie. First the sunblock, then we go outside. Caillou knew that you had to put sunblock on when you went outside on a sunny day. You're going to need some of this, too. I can do it. Good sunblock paint shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Caillou. Let's get your painting gear. There you go. You're all set. Caillou couldn't wait to get started on his painting. He wanted to make <laughs> something extra special for Grandma. Hey! <laughs> Gilbert, I'm trying to paint. I'm going to paint a picture of you, Gilbert. How about a nice rose? Pretty flower. Would you like a lily? Okay. Pretty flower. Caillou liked his painting of Gilbert, but he wanted to paint something even more special for Grandma. I'm going to paint a picture of Rosie. Rosie! <laughs> Caillou liked his painting of Rosie, too. But it wasn't quite what he wanted to give Grandma, either. Caillou was having a hard time figuring out what to paint for Grandma. Hello, Caillou. What should I paint, Mommy? What about... A tree. I want to use lots of colors. What can I paint that has lots of colors? You could always make an abstract painting. Ab? 
Abstract? Abstract. That means you don't have to paint anything in particular. You can use whatever colors you want and make any kind of shapes you want. Like circles and triangles and stars? Sure, whatever you like. Caillou thought abstract painting sounded like fun. <laughs> All done. Oh, that's a beautiful painting, Caillou. I'm sure Grandma will love it. Thank you. Daddy's shirt's all messy. That's okay, Caillou. Paint shirts are supposed to get messy. It shows how hard you worked on your painting. Messy's good. <laughs> Maybe for paint shirts, but you still need to wash your face and hands before lunch. bad, Rosie. This flower was for you, Grandma. Now don't you fret, Rosie. I know what we can do. We can press this flower, and that way it will last for a long, long time. There. Doesn't it look nice? Ooh! Flower for Grandma! Oh, thank you, Rosie. It's beautiful. Hi, Grandma. I painted this for you. How wonderful. Thank you, Caillou. Oh, which way does it go? I'm not sure. Then it's an extra special work of art, because you can look at it any which way. Really? And now, we have two beautiful works of art. Uh-oh. You mean three. Gilbert is a work of art, too. <laughs> Caillou was waiting for his grandpa to arrive. They were going to the park today. Hi, Grandpa. Hello, Caillou. Are you ready for a very special day in the park? Yes! Why is it so special? What are we doing? What's in the box? Hmm. Hold on there. You'll see when we get to the park. Caillou was very curious. He wanted to know what was in the box. You'd better get going. The quicker you get to the park, the quicker you'll find out what's in there. Let's go, Grandpa. Bye, Daddy. Come on. <laughs> Wait for me. Caillou and Grandpa rode the bus to the park. Caillou loved riding the bus, but he still really wanted to know what was in the box. Tell me what's in the box, Grandpa. I'll give you a hint. It's something we can play with at the park. Hmm. Is it a soccer ball or a kite? Hmm. Caillou thought about all the things that might be in there.
Wait a minute. You could be right. Nope, it's not a helicopter. <laughs> Grandpa. Soon they were in the park. Is it a teddy bear? Nope. Is it a real bear? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the boats! <laughs> Caillou loved to watch the boats on the pond. Look! They're having a race! Boy, I wish we had a... <gasps> I know! A sailboat! Made it myself. Do you like it? Yeah! Does it really sail? We'll soon find out. Soon they had the boat in the water. Caillou was very excited when Grandpa let him do the steering. I'm steering it! <laughs> That's right, Captain Caillou. Just be careful. If you turn it too fast, it'll tip over. Can we race with the other boats, Grandpa? I bet we'd win. Sure. Caillou imagined he was a real captain of a real boat. Ahoy there, Captain Caillou! Hi! My boat is faster than all the other boats. I'm faster than the fishes. I'm even faster than the birds. My boat is the fastest boat ever. Are you ready for a race? I'll just get you lined up for the start. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Emma. That's Emma. She's in my play school. Well, she's going to race with us today. Her boat is the red one, and that boy over there has the green boat. I bet we're gonna win, Grandpa. Maybe we will. <laughs> but remember that the most important thing is to have fun. The finish line is the other side of the pond. On your mark, get set, go! My boat's faster than your boat. No, it isn't. Come on. really wanted to win the race, so he decided to make the little boat go faster. Be careful, Caillou, not too fast. Look, we're winning! Faster, faster! Oh, no! Oh, that's too bad. Better luck next time. Caillou felt bad that his boat had made Emma's boat tip over. Sorry, Emma. Oh, that's all right. I come here with my daddy every weekend, and my boat always tips over. <laughs> <laughs> it tips over every week? Yeah, it's hard to keep it going straight, but it's still lots of fun. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> yeah! Here's your boat, Emma. Why don't you come over and say congratulations to the winner? Okay, Grandpa. Soon, it was time to go back home. So are you disappointed you didn't win the race? I was a little, but I like being Captain Caillou, even if I don't win. Would you like to be captain again next Saturday afternoon? Yeah! <laughs> next time I won't go so fast. Then I won't tip over. That's a very good idea, Captain Caillou. Jolly good. The 
loudest noise. Caillou was having fun playing with his fire truck. This is the fire chief! Fire at the old shipyard! Let's go! You're being too loud, Caillou. Rosie's trying to sleep. Sorry, Mommy. Why don't you play outside? Caillou didn't really want to go outside. But he knew that outside he could make as much noise as he wanted. Okay. Mommy! <sighs> Coming, Rosie! There's the fire! Come on, we can put it out! Caillou couldn't even hear his fire truck because Daddy was making even more noise than he was. <laughs> Daddy, if you had the lawnmower inside, Mommy would tell you to be quiet. <laughs> then it's a good thing that the grass grows outside and not inside, isn't it? <laughs> That's silly, Daddy. Phew! Cutting grass is thirsty work. I could sure use a glass of juice right now. How about you? Yes, please. Caillou and Daddy got themselves some apple juice, and it sure tasted good. That's a sad sound. Why is that? Because my juice is all gone. You know, you're right. It is a sad sound. Here, let me put that away. Caillou wondered if there was anything that was louder than Daddy's lawnmower. It is! Boy, that truck makes the loudest sound ever! I know a sound that's even louder than that. Really? What is it? It's a surprise. We have to take a little drive to hear it. Come on! Is that the loudest sound, Daddy? It's loud, all right, but it's still not as loud as what I'm going to show you. <laughs> That's a yummy sound. You said it. But it's not the loudest sound, is it, Daddy? Nope. Caillou was very curious to know where Daddy was taking him and what the loud sound would be. Hmm. Caillou thought Daddy had made a mistake. He couldn't hear any loud sounds at all. But it's really quiet here. Don't worry. It won't be quiet for long. Oh, boy, did you see that? Daddy, did you see that plane? I saw it. Did you hear how loud it was? I wish we could see some more airplanes. We can. I think I see another one coming in for a landing. Love planes. He imagined what it would be like to be a real pilot. I 
I'm up in the clouds! Been. Daddy took <gasps> me to see... Caillou suddenly remembered that Rosie was sleeping, and he had to be quiet. Oops. Sorry, Mommy. That's okay. Now, what were you saying? Daddy took me to the airport to see the planes. They were really, really loud. They were even louder than the recycling truck and the lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is loud. It looks like you're about ready for a nap, too. Do you like airplanes, Gilbert? I like them because they're so loud. Caillou decided that even though he liked the loud sound of airplanes, he loved the soft sound of Gilbert purring even more. Caillou, Caillou, I'm so proud of you. What do you want to do when you grow up? Caillou, Caillou, there's so much to see. What do you want to be when you grow up? You can be a writer or learn to play guitar. You can be an astronaut and reach for the stars. You can be an explorer or play on a team. A doctor, a pilot, just follow your dream. Just believe in yourself and set your goals high. You can do anything. Just don't be afraid to try. Caillou, Caillou, if you only knew how proud I am of you as I watch you as you grow up. Caillou's first wedding. Today was a very important day. Daddy's friend Jonas was getting married. And Caillou and Rosie were to be part of the wedding party. There you go. You look very handsome. Is this wedding going to be like yours and Mommy's wedding? It'll be mostly the same, but our wedding wasn't at a ranch. And we didn't have you and Rosie to help out because you weren't even born yet. Oh, good, you're ready. Let's practice what you and Rosie have to do for the wedding. Caillou had a very important job to do. He had to carry the wedding rings down the aisle. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Let's practice with just one ring. Now, honey, you carry the pillow with the rings down the aisle, okay? Here you go, sweetie. Let's pretend there are rose petals in here. You walk down the aisle and throw them in front of you. <laughs> Good. Caillou. When Daddy asks you for the rings, you give them to him. And you'll know it's all over when the bride and groom kiss, like this. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready. Let's get going. It's going to be a long day. I want you two to try and stay nice and clean. I can't wait to see Jonas's horse, Lucky. I hope he remembers me from last time. Caillou decided to bring some carrots for Lucky. Mm -hmm. 
soon they were at Jonas's ranch. Grandma and Grandpa were already there. Ugh. It's okay, Mommy. I'm still clean. Welcome. I'd like you all to meet Kristen, my bride-to-be. Are you two all ready to be in a wedding? Can I go see Lucky? We have to have another practice first. Right over there. Yay! Caillou, if you want people to move out of the way, you say, excuse me. Excuse me? Why, sure thing, little partner. They practiced one more time. Grandma pretended to be Kristen because she was busy getting ready. <laughs> Not now, sweetie. Let's just pretend to throw them. Do you, Kristen, take Jonas to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. <laughs> With this ring, I thee wed. That was perfect. You're a wonderful ring bearer, Caillou. And you're a great little flower girl, Rosie. Can I go see Lucky now? Sure. As a matter of fact, I need a little help from you. Caillou felt very grown up. Jonas needed his help to guide Lucky toward the wedding buggy. Is he going in straight? Yes. Back up, Lucky. Back up. Caillou thought the buggy was like the ones that cowboys used to drive in the old days. Go! Time for a drink. All done, Lucky? Then let's get going. Please? When we get to town, you can have all the carrots you want. Yeehaw! Go, Lucky, go! Howdy, partner. This is for you, Lucky. <laughs> I brought a carrot for Lucky. Can I give it to him? Sure. Put it on your hand and hold it out flat like this. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. You don't want to get dirty. at you. Uh, let's get you cleaned up. I tried to stay clean, but the hay stuck to me. <gasps> Caillou almost didn't recognize Kristen. She sure looked different in her wedding dress. Don't spill them, Rosie. And do you, Jonas, take Kristen to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. With this ring, I thee wed. Caillou couldn't find the other ring in his pocket. With this ring, I thee wed. I now pronounce you... Husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. Oh! Good job, Caillou. Very nice, Rosie. But I dropped the rings and got my knees all dirty. But you found the rings again, and you were very polite. That's right. There may have been a couple of snags, but I think things ended just perfectly. <laughs> Here, Rosie. Caillou was glad that everything had turned out all right. And he was very, very glad he hadn't lost the wedding rings.
Thank you.